Well, hello. In this video, we're going to be learning how to make interactive art. Basically, what we're going to be doing is taking our for loops and adding some interactivity to it so that when the user moves their mouse, things on the screen start changing, right? And that's like, art's pretty cool to look at. But when the, like, the person who's observing it can start interacting with art and changing how it looks, well, that's something pretty special, right? So let's get into it. Let's just start with a basic for loop. And we're going to go like this. For i is equal to 0, i is less than 400. You know, I want to work with 600 today, so let's do this 600. And then we'll do i, um, i plus equals 20. That looks like a good one. Um, then we'll do 4. We'll do a nested for loops here. Uh, j equals 0. j is less than 600. And then we'll do j plus equals 20 as well. And then let's do a nice little ellipse here. And we'll make that, um, actually, I kind of want to rect today. Let's do a rect. And we'll do that at um, i, j, 20, 15. All right, let's see what we get here. All right, so we got this like nice array of squares. That looks pretty good, right? But, um, oh, and sorry, let's give it some color. So we'll do fill, uh, let's do like, uh, I divided by two, J divided by two, I don't know, uh, 20. Super. All right, so we get this nice looking array of squares that have all these colors, which is great. I think this is really pretty looking. But the next part of this is, don't we want things to like, we want to make it so like we can like start interacting and changing it based on where the mouse is. And it's pretty easy to do it. It's kind of fun to start playing with this. So let me just show you some ways that we can start making this interactive. So the first thing we do is, let's say we mess with the color, right? So instead of doing i, j, and 20, let's do mouse x. We'll put that over here for our last number. So now you can see we kind of get this nice effect, right? But that looks really pretty, depending on where our mouse is, right? So that's, that's nice. Like we're able to change the color. You could do all sorts of things here. You could do mouse y, if that's something that also looks you want to try. Now you get a little bit more action when you move your mouse around. There's like a wider range of colors, right? That's really nice looking. I think that's a nice way of interacting with it. But there's more things we could do, right? What if we did this? Let's change the size of the rectangle to also be reflected in mouse X. So now, as I move my rec this around, you see how it looks like it's getting bigger? Well, ooh, that's nice. Thing is, as soon as I move my mouse like a little bit, it goes like, it's already like all at its max. So first let's just give it a little bit more space. So let's do 50 increments of 50. And let's make this mouse X, but let's divide it by like 20. So it's a little bit more reasonable here. So now when my mouse X is zero, you can see it's very small. Those are just little dots. And as I move my mouse around across the screen, we get this nice little effect. It's changing colors and they're getting bigger and smaller. Whoa, right? That's kind of fun. We could also have it like go, like maybe we could do like two mouse Y divided by 20. Actually, we could do 10. And let's try this out. You can see that like now we have the width and the length all tied to what uh, the mouse X and mouse Y. So this is a pretty nice effect. And I love what's going on here. And this is just one thing that we could do. But let's actually take it back a notch. Okay, like that. All right, and we'll just go back here, right? Where we just had this going on. Now, instead of doing our increments of 50, what we could actually do is this. Let's do like 10 plus mouse X. All right, and we'll make this 20. Let's just see what happens when I do that. Whoa, so you see how this kind of now shifts? So the increment on my columns depends on where my mouse X is. So I can move them back and forth like that. You get this kind of crazy effect, right? We could also do it for this side. Let's do 10 plus mouse y. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, you see how the increments here are being affected by where my mouse is? That's a little bit sensitive to my liking. So once again, it's a little sensitive. I'm gonna start dividing out my mouse x and mouse y to make it just a little bit uh, cleaner. Whoa. And you get these kind of cool effects, right? Now, 
this isn't all we can do. Let's just be clear that this is just like one aspect of what we're doing. Now, what we could also do is we could start throwing another thing. So let's like try it. Let's put some lines in there. And let's do a line that goes at I, J. Now, hear me out. Mouse X, mouse Y. And let's do a, a what's it called? A stroke. Remember, that's the border. That's how you color a line. That colors the border. The line's kind of just a border. And what we would do is um, I, mouse, mouse X, and J. Let's see what that looks like. Ready? And now we get this kind of crazy thing going on. Whoa. I'm afraid we can't see the colors well enough, though, so I don't really like this. Let's give it a little bit more, like, actual color. So let's do I, uh, 200, 100. And then maybe we'll give us, like, a more. Whoa. Now we're talking here, right? This looks great. And in fact, let's just do this, stroke weight, so we can see that a little bit better. Now let's give it a stroke weight of five. Okay, now we're talking. Love it. A little bit much. I actually don't like it as much. Let's go back to three. Yeah. So anyway, this is just like a quick piece of art that we threw together very quickly, uh, just by throwing in mouse X and mouse Y in all these different places. Now, keep in mind, I did not put mouse X for the stroke. That's another place we could have put it. Um, and there's so many different shapes um, and ways to think about it. And keep in mind, you could also even do the position here. So you could like add mouse X and like J plus mouse Y. You know, there's, there's all you can do. So that's it for today's lesson. Hopefully I didn't crash your computer. It seems like mine's about to die. Um, and that's it. All right, bye.